counting going on right now. The BJP leading in several seats. They will, in fact, hope to have to win at least seven of the 15 so far over there, the electronic voting machines in the strong room. They've been there since Thursday evening. In the room next door is the counting, the counting going on over there in the room next door. You can actually see the BJP candidate there, the BJP candidate there, Sharavanan, who took on Rizwan Arshad of the Congress and also Tanvir Ahmed of the JDS. So the BJP candidate there, waiting to see what happens here. Right now in this location, Congress is in the lead, but in most of the other seats, it is in fact the BJP which is leading, which would be good news for the BJP here. They certainly want to have a majority in the House without the support of anyone else. The JDS hoping to be a kingmaker if the BJP doesn't actually get the numbers, and the Congress hoping that their former MLAs who join the BJP will also bite the dust. But yes, even if the BJP does get the majority, it's not going to be plain sailing all the way. There's pretty much been a promise made to those MLAs, formerly of the Congress and JDS, who switched to the BJP, that if they do win, they will in fact become ministers. Now that, of course, is not going to go down well with other BJP MLAs. Every MLA wants to become a minister, as someone once said. So it's not going to be easy for Yedi to keep his people quiet when he actually gives ministerial births to any of the MLAs who do win. And that, of course, is going to be one major challenge. There's already been dissidents seen in the BJP on the allotment of tickets itself. We've had BJP leaders who were not given the tickets for those assembly constituencies, some switching to the JDS, some switching to the Congress, the son of a sitting BJP MP, Bache Gowda, his son Sharath actually contesting as an independent against the richest candidate in the fray, MTB Nagaraj, with his 1,200 crores, formerly of the Congress, now with the BJP. So even if the BJP does get a majority and is comfortable in the assembly, within the party itself, there's likely to be some disturbance as BJP MLAs may resent ministerial births being given to those who win. And also a sense of dissatisfaction over welcoming in these newcomers. The Welcome has not been universal, although the party is trying to present a united front. But in a few hours' time, we'll know for sure whether the BJP has its majority or whether the Congress and the JDS has been able to put up a fight and prevent them from getting that magic majority number of 112. Right, and another interesting trend that is coming in Maya right now is the one independent which is in the lead and that's coming in from the Hoskote seat. You were just talking about it. It's a father and son at war with each other and it is, he's also the richest candidate over there. And this is one seat perhaps where the defection well, yes. and perhaps the uneasiness Bachi. within the BJP cadre is so out in the open. Take us through that. Yes, indeed, Hoskoti was really a prime example of what was going wrong for the BJP in these elections, rebellion. The son of the sitting MP, of the sitting MP, Bache Gowda, his son Sharath, was not given the ticket for Hoskote and he contested as an independent. And when we in fact asked him, is your father campaigning for you or for the official BJP candidate? He said, my father's with the BJP, he can't come and support me. The official BJP candidate, of course, MTB Nagaraj, a famously rich man. His assets grew from 1,085 crores in 2018 when the last assembly election was held to over 1,200 crores now. Now, MTB Nagaraj also shot to national fame and prominence during that July rebellion against the coalition government when he told coalition leaders, he told Siddharamaya, he told that I'll be right here, I'm not going anywhere, I'm right here with you. And then immediately afterwards disappeared to Mumbai to join the other rebels in the hotels there. So MTB Nagaraj in Hoskote against the independent, son of a BJP MP. Of course, results still to come in, but interesting to see whether that richest candidate manages to pull it off or whether it's in fact an independent Sharath, the son of a BJP MP, who does that.